These are all the products I bought in April. I'm excited to tell you about what worked for me, what didn't. I have quite a bit of products here and let's get right into it. So if you're interested what I'm wearing on my face, I'm gonna make sure to link everything down below because we just wanna get into this products. In April, I have bought a foundation by It Cosmetics and that was the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Illumination Cream with SPF 50. I'm going to put a picture right here. I have returned that foundation. It was $59 and by the end of the day, it applied beautifully. By the end of the day, my face was covered in glitter. So my face looked like a disco ball, like glitter everywhere. It was so strange. So I had to return it and I have bought a new foundation. But first, let's talk about the first product I bought in April and that's by Rare Beauty. And that is the Rare Beauty bronzing stick in the shade bright side this is one of their new bronzing sticks shades that she came out with and this retailed for 34 dollars i have another one and i love that bronzing stick and this is what i'm wearing today and i think it's such a beautiful shade and it melts into the skin it's soft it's easy to travel with make sure you click the cap it is just a beautiful beautiful shade i love the shade and the other shade that i have has a little bit more of a red undertone but this one is just perfection this reminds me of the nars laguna cream bronzer and i have been using this a lot i'm gonna make sure to pack this when i go on vacation as well because it's just the perfect bronzer for a nice tropical vacation so definitely recommend this products by rare beauty i'm sorry if you guys hear anything from outside someone just started to either mow the lawn or do some noises in the yard but in april i have also bought a new foundation and that's to replace the it cc cream foundation that i was not happy with and that is the laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation and this is in the shade 1n2 vanille this is fair with neutral undertones that is the type of foundation shade i normally go for and this retailed for 64 dollars i know it's a little bit more expensive than the eight cc cream but this foundation is so beautiful i have been using it and i have been loving it it covers the imperfections it covers your redness it leaves your skin with a very nice natural glow a healthy glow and for those reasons i recommend this foundation i think this foundation will be perfect for anyone whether you have normal dry or oily skin a little bit goes a long way and the pump is made in a way so that it doesn't pump out a full pump like all the other foundations it comes out very slowly so it's perfect for building it up on your skin so definitely recommend this one i have been loving it now of course i had to pick up during the sephora sale the new tinted lip oils by rare beauty i have a full review on this and swatches and on my lips and comparison with other products so make sure you go check out that video but i have picked out wonder hope honesty and joy these are so pretty so like i said in my other video i'm not gonna give you the same details it's a tinted lip oil however a lot of people have been upset over the fact that it doesn't come across as a lip oil it's a very light gloss you get on your on your lips and it will eventually the gloss will eventually go away and you're left with this nice tinted lips i'm not wearing it today i'm wearing my tower 28 blush on my lips in happy hour this ones i definitely recommend they are not going to stay on your lips till the end of the day however they tint your lips in a nice way it fades away just leaving your lip color without seeing any patchiness on your lips it doesn't dry up your lips it doesn't have a funny taste or funny smell they are very very beautiful hydrating with a nice tint to the lips so if you like a tinted lip i say invest in this one's great prices for 26 dollars each instead of a lipstick lipstick is nice when you first apply it but it eventually go away so i rather have a nice tinted lip oil lipstick whatever you want to call it as long as it's tinted and it tints your lips 
I would go for this one. Definitely very beautiful. I think that this one in the shade Hope, it's a nice light pink. This kind of mashes with your lip color, so you won't see much of a difference if you use this one and your lips are already a little bit more pigmented, so keep that in mind. Go for a deeper shade, but they're also pretty. And of course, I had to buy a new sunscreen by Supergoop. This is the exact same one I have. This is the tube that I'm almost done. I have the brand new one in my drawer, and this is the Supergoop Play Everyday Lotion SPF 50. Oh, this retails for $46, but because of the Sephora sale, I bought it for $36.80. So this is something that I had to get to stock up on. This is a everyday lotion with a 50 UVA UVB protection for face and body. Now this is a fast absorbing water resistant SPF. I use it mostly, I mean all the time, only on my face and neck. For my body I use the regular ones from the drugstore but because because this is so expensive, I only use it on my face and I use it every morning and it works wonderful under foundation, under makeup, perfect SPF. You get 150 milliliters, no, 162 milliliters for that price and a little bit goes a long way. I love this. You can even use this as a primer. You don't even have to use it as a actual um, sunscreen only. It comes out like a nice white cream and when you blend it, it just blends right into the skin. It's so, so pretty. It leaves that nice hydrating feeling on your skin. So it's good. Let's leave this on the hands because don't forget to put sunscreen on the back of your hands as well. Now let's move on to the next product and this is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. You guys need this in your collection, I'm telling you. There is a deal right now on the Sephora website. I don't know how much longer, if there's anything left in stock. It comes into a package like this, a duo. And this is the... This retails for $26.50. If you buy the exfoliate by itself, it would, retail, it would retail for $36. This is all Canadian. But if you buy the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, and then this is for your face, and then this is the body scrub, this total of $26.50. I mostly bought this just for this one. I don't really care about this one as much. However, I am using it. So I bought two packages. I have one more of this. So I have a total of three. If you buy, this is the 0 0.5 ounces. If you buy the higher one, this is the mini one. If you buy the medium one, it's like... I believe it's $92 or $100. And if you buy even the higher one, it's above $100. So I think that this size is perfect for the price. It's $36 regular. Like I said, I bought it for $26.50 because there's a deal right now. This is like a spa in your own home. This is what the Hollywood stars use on their faces to have that nice glowy skin. I use this once a week. You can use it once or twice a week, morning or night. You rub it into your hands, a small pump, and you rub it all over the face for like 20 to 30 seconds. You let it sit up to two minutes, then you rinse it. So it's a scrub for your face. It eliminates all of your dead skin cells. Your face is left baby smooth. It's so amazing. I don't know. I've never encountered anything like this. Then you apply your moisture moisturizer, your evening or morning skincare, it is the best product I've used for my face. And I have been noticing my skin looking more youthful, looking more refreshing, more hydrating after I apply my skincare. I'm telling you that this is magical. So I definitely recommend this one. Now from the drugstore, I have come across the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken. This has this is the one with caffeine and vitamin C, 24 hour 5 in 1 concealer, and the shade that I have is the Universal Brightener. This is what I'm wearing today, and I like to apply it only in the inner corner around the mouth, forehead, nose, and chin. And this retails for $12.99. This is such a nice concealer and brightener and corrector all in one. This is all you need because of the nice pink shade. It really brightens and it's very hydrating. And let me show you. It comes with this type of sponge. And then when you apply it, you see the nice pinkiness it provides there. It's so beautiful. 
and then you massage it into the skin and look how nice it just brightened this area up. I am just loving this product. This is something I recommend from the drugstore. I don't buy much from the drugstore. I wanted to try it because of the shade and I love the formula and the shade. So this is a beautiful product from the drugstore and very affordable. Speaking of pink color, I have purchased next from Sephora the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cupcake. <sighs> okay, this it retails for $51. I bought it when it was the 20% off Rouge VIB sale and I bought it for $40.80. Now, if you have the Givenchy, let me show you here, the Givenchy Prisma Libre, it's very similar packaging to that one. If you have this one, I don't know if you need this one, but I wanted to buy the one that's um, more rosy tone. This is quite rosy itself, so I want to show you how it looks, because I always wondered. So that's the shade, let me bring it up further here. That's the shade I have, and I'm going to pick up some on my finger. It is really pretty, and it does... It does provide such a nice, like it's so soft and it provides it provides a very nice brightening effect. Also, it corrects your imperfection and I, I'm i loving it. But if you do have the Givenchy, I don't think that there's a need to spend your money on this one. I think that these two powders are enough for me. It's going to take me a while to go through them. They both have a very nice perfumey scent. It's not very strong. I have heard people talk about this powder by Huda Beauty that is has an extremely strong perfumey smell. Absolutely not. I think that the Givenchy probably smells even more than this. It has a nice perfumey smell, but it's not strong at all. So it depends. If you love Huda Beauty, you can buy this. But again, if you have the Givenchy, I don't think you need to invest in this. I don't know. They're both very, very soft and it applies onto the face even if you have dry skin without drying your skin. I just like to apply it in this area only. I'm not wearing any powder today but if I were to this is the areas where I would apply it and I don't like to go underneath my eyes with powder because I've noticed that every powder will eventually dry my under eye area. So yeah, this is a good product. Now I've also picked up the Freck Beauty Best of Freck Holiday Set. It comes with a mascara and the OG Freck product. Now the OG Freck product, I gave it to my daughter because she likes to play with it and give herself fake freckles, but that retailed for $20. I mean $25 was on sale from $32 and I only bought it for $20 because of the 20% VIB sale. Now this is the mascara. This is the Lash Rocket mascara. I have not tried it. I don't know how good it is. I'll be trying this in a video trying on new makeup. So it's quite small. I don't know if this is a mini or not. I think that for the price it was great because the freck by itself is over $30. So but spending $20 and getting a mascara too, not a bad deal. I don't know how this is, so I cannot recommend it quite yet. I have to try it. Now let's move on to the next one. This is a tool that I picked up from Sephora, and this is the Makeup by Mario F2 Makeup Brush. I want to own all of his dual-ended brushes. I think that they are so beautiful, and I was never into dual-ended brushes, but after seeing Mario using them, it really got me into them. And this retailed for $39. Let me take it out because I have not used it yet. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It has a cover on this side as well. Let me take it off. Six and a half hours later. So here is more of the big fluffy brush you can use for probably powder bronzer and powder blush. Same with this one, you can use to apply highlighter or a nice soft powder blush. But I do want to pick up the other ones, so I don't know how this one, it feels very soft on the face. You can even use this one to apply nice powder in the T-zone. I think that this is a beautiful brush and I'm excited. I have it, I have a container like this where I'm going to keep it like that because I don't like to put a brush, a dual-ended brush, and wreck one side or the other. 
let's move on to the next product the next one is a mac eyeshadow i think you guys have seen a short on my channel already this is the mac eyeshadow in the shade les artiste frost it's a very nice shimmery shade and this is really really pretty it has more i was hoping it had more of a champagne undertone but it's more silvery but if you apply it over the eyelid it looks so so pretty look at that it just brightens your eyelid and this with a little bit of a brown in the crease i think it looks stunning I love this MAC eyeshadows. This cost $26. I bought this in a MAC store, not Sephora. But I want to own more because I think that they're so easy to use and travel. And I have been into more of a one eyeshadow type of thing instead of palettes. So I love this one. Definitely recommend it. If you like more of a cool tone, this is more cool tone than warm tone, but it's so pretty all over the eyelid. I love it. My next one, which is I am wearing in my waterline. I have purchased the Sephora 12 hour colorful crayon contour eye pencil. This is supposed to be waterproof last 12 hours. This is a matte one. I didn't buy the shimmery one and this is in the shade 13 tiramisu. I have been wearing this one and I am loving it how it looks. It does not smudge at all. It is very soft. It's a nice dark brown. It gives me makeup by Mario vibes. I love that it's waterproof. However, I've noticed if I put it in my waterline, by the after many, many hours, you'll eventually fade from the waterline, but it still stays nicely and smoky in the bottom of my lash line. This retails for $15. This is a great, great product. I love it. I love this and the Makeup by Mario one and the Essence one from the drugstore. Those are the ones I recommend. It is a beautiful product. Now, I don't know if it's waterproof. I have put it right here. It is a very nice brown shade. You can even smudge it. You see, it smudges really nicely. So it's not something that stays there. So it's very interesting that it's called waterproof. I haven't gone under the water with this one. I think it's really pretty. It will eventually go away from the waterline, like I said, but it's really pretty. I recommend this one and the Makeup by Mario ones for sure. Another new product I have picked up is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. I love the glowish foundation. I know a lot of people don't uh, because it's if you have oily skin, you don't want to put more glow on your face. But I have normal to dry skin, mature skin, and I love the glowish foundation. And that's something that I like to pack when I go on vacations, especially tropical places, because I think it looks really, really nice and healthy. And the actual concealer is very similar to the foundation in a smaller version. And I picked mine into the lightest shade. This is Porcelain 00. This retails for $36. And I picked this one up because I went in store and I've tried it. And if you go to the other shades, I, I bought it for a brightening reason. I didn't buy it for spot concealing. So if you want to buy it for brightening reasons, I suggest to go in store and check it out. Look at the cute tofu food applicator. And it's just, it has a nice pinkish undertone, which I love for brightening. A very nice hydrating consistency is not creasing into my fine lines eventually like all of them will, but I'm talking about upon application. It looks very hydrating, non-drying, and it's just beautiful. This covers the, any type of purples you have under the eye, this type of shade. The others pull more yellow, so depending on the tone you buy. I love the porcelain one because I think it's not white. It's more pinkish and very hydrating. Look at that glow. Very pretty. So definitely recommend this one. I have been trying it and I have been loving it. And of course, I had to pick up another lip jelly by Tower 28. This is in the shade Wild. I'm sure you guys have already seen a short on my channel. This retails for $21 and the product is so beautiful. I love this shade. The lip jellies are one of my favorites, the Tower 28 ones. And this is a nice, nice, nice like pink cherry type of shade and I think it looks so pretty on the lips even a little bit of this all over the lip 
it gives it a nice glow and a healthy juicy colorful lip i love this i love this color so much this and pistachios are my favorite almond too but i think this and the pistachio one which is the nice more light nude pink are my favorite again they're not lip stains so they're more lip jellies they give you this nice glow to the lips with a hint of color but they're not gonna stain your lips they will eventually go away without uh, creasing into your crevices of your lips without smudging around your lips it's just a very beautiful product i i love this one definitely recommend a tower 28 lip jellies depending on what color you want they have a bunch of shades and that was the last product that i purchased in april again we have just favorites i don't think there's a fail in today's video i recommend all of this it's preference on shades and texture type of skin you have but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And this is it for me today. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.